Natasha, say hi. Say hi, guys. This is Natasha. All right, I'll let you go. Are you going to let me film my video, though, or no? Oh, my gosh. Life of a cat mom. Um, but hey guys, welcome back to my channel, but well, welcome back to me and Natasha's channel since clearly she won't let me do my introduction video. I recently have gotten a lot of new subscribers, so I just wanted to reintroduce myself. Um, I've been on YouTube for quite a while now and my subscriber count has been a little bit stagnant at like 40k and now I'm at 50k so I just wanted to come on and reintroduce myself. I'm gonna have cat hair all over me but if you've been following me from the start of my YouTube <laughs> if you've been following me from the start of my YouTube journey and you still don't know much about me then this video should uh get you a little bit more acclimated with who I am. So as you guys know, my channel name is Curlfriend Ari, but my name is Ariel. So this is actually the first long form video that I've done in a while and I felt it was necessary because I did have a video reach a million views and I did get a bunch of new subscribers from that. So I just want to come on and say hi, show my face in a non short form. Um, I do upload a lot of shorts, which has really been beneficial to my channel, but I do want to get back into doing long, long form videos. So I actually stopped doing long form videos. I was doing a lot of work and I wasn't getting as many views. Oh, and now it's raining. Lovely. Hopefully y'all can't hear this rain in this video. But um, I stopped doing long form videos because they were only getting like 200 views, even though I have, I had like 40,000 subscribers and I was putting so much work and time and energy into them that I just decided to stop. But I am going to be doing long form videos again. I want to get back into the long form hair content um, and just giving you guys anything you want to see, vlogs, if you want me to just come and sit and talk, like I have a lot to say. Personally, I have a lot to say, okay, and I give great advice. And that's not just me saying that, that's my, my friends have told me like I give fantastic advice. So if y'all want to hear about like dating or just what I do for work as a content creator, I'm a full-time content creator. Um, I graduated from Georgia State University in 2019 and right out of college I was able to start YouTube um, and influencing full-time. So I'm super grateful for that. Um, it's been what seven years now and I've reaped so many benefits you guys. I've always been the kid like who never knew exactly what they wanted to do um, and so once influencing just fell into my lap it felt so natural and I know that I wouldn't be uh, just doing this. I wouldn't be here and be so successful for so long if it wasn't what God wanted for me. He would have already had me pivot. He would have already made me be in the area and in the space and place that I need to be but I'm here on this camera talking to you guys and so yeah I'm just happy to be here sorry if y'all see cat hair flying around she literally was just all over me um Natasha is my baby that's my firstborn child I know the other cat people can relate there are children okay that is my firstborn daughter thank you very much um I did write down a little list just so I could keep myself on track and I'm not rambling this entire video so although I've been a full-time creator for a long time, I am actually going to be splitting my time between taking over my family business and also doing influencing. So my dad owns an emissions station, emissions testing station, and he is getting pretty old. I'm the youngest of seven children, so I'm the baby, and my dad's in his 70s, believe it or not. He wouldn't look at either. I'll put a picture of him up here. Um, but yeah, my dad's getting older and none of his sons are wanting to take over the business. So as he's slowing down, I want to actually just be there for my dad and to be able to fill in for him. Or even if he wants to take like a few, a week off of work or whatever's going on, we can switch out in the business with doing the emissions testing. Here's the book and the studies has actually been going pretty well. Um, it's like I feel like I'm back in college again. The studies are actually going pretty well. I should be done studying and licensed by mid-March. I know it's kind of weird for like a woman to be doing emissions testing, but honestly, I really don't care. There's a lot of money in it, and my dad has been able to make a great living. He came from Jamaica, so I'm also Jamaican and Montserratian, so I'm full West Indian. Um, if you don't know where Montserrat is, look it up. Um, but yeah, I'm full West Indian. 
I come from a family of hard workers. I come from a, pe a family of people who have completely transformed their life. Like my dad literally was, grew up in the country in Jamaica and he now moved to the States, has his own business, paid off his home, just bought a brand new Lexus. Like it's super inspiring and I hope that I can live up to half of what he has accomplished in his lifetime. So I really look forward to that. Um, my mom, she's also a YouTuber as well. She has um mindless crafting is her youtube channel and so she goes live every tuesday and thursday she has over a hundred thousand subscribers like y'all she's amazing i you so you guys can kind of see where the hard work in me comes from like between my mom and my dad like they're incredible people my dad is a physical hard worker and my mom she's just such a creative and an innovator and it's really inspiring so i have people to look up to in my life and i'm just trying to be half of what they are so that is why i'm here uh just to reintroduce my Myself. so I am the youngest of seven like I said and you would think like okay she's a baby maybe she's been spoiled or like she's gotten everything she wanted and I have to say I do live a very privileged privileged life I have not gotten everything that I've wanted I will tell you that um I did grow up poor um I've been homeless before I actually had crazy medical issues when I was a child which I can talk about in another video but it was completely life-changing and it humbled me immensely I mean it humbled me immensely and I know that I need therapy from it um which I'll get to that but right now I got some work to do okay I started YouTube and Instagram at the same time and I actually am going to be just falling back from Instagram just a little bit more to really focus on my YouTube channel I'm on every single platform I'm on Pinterest YouTube TikTok uh Facebook Instagram I'm, I'm on everything I'm on everything Twitter I'm on everything y'all so definitely follow me but I'm gonna be taking a step back from Instagram because I feel like I put in so much hard work over there and I really want to come back and focus on my YouTube channel I have all these accounts and although I've reached the 50k mark on almost all of them I need this year my goal is to get one at least one if not all of my accounts to 100k so i'm going to be on here super consistent you guys definitely please support me tap in watch my videos um i'm gonna be vlogging i'm gonna be again doing hair videos i'm going to be sharing my life i'm gonna be giving advice um i live in atlanta georgia so you guys know i'll definitely i have some crazy dating stories to tell you um, and I don't mind sharing because I'm not with any of those people now. <laughs> uh, praise God. Ooh. But also, I am very spiritual. I do go to church. Um, sometimes I'll go to church alone if no one wants to go with me. Like, I will literally go to church by myself. You will hear it in just the things that I say and the things that come out of my mouth. You will know that it was something that God put into my brain or a thought process or a way of thinking that he's given to me in order for me to deal and handle with this world okay um so every day I wake up and the first thing I do is I pray I pray every single morning I pray over my life I pray over the, my my tribe which is my support system my friends and my family um I say everyone's name out loud I feel like the power of the tongue is very real and so I ask for blessings and prosperity for my loved ones um for myself um when it comes to my career I pray over my career as well I ask God for my content to meet the eyes that it's supposed to meet I only want good vibes and positivity and I only want people who are here to support me and who my content can help to you know join on and subscribe to me or follow me or whatever so yeah I really love God <laughs> and uh what else can I tell you guys um I, I love Beyonce let's just say okay tonight is the Super Bowl which this video will be dropping in the coming week but tonight was super bowl night and usher performed and beyonce dropped new music and just she's coming out with a country album and so you know i'm not a country fan I'm not a country fan at all but i'm a beyonce fan and anything she puts out i'm gonna listen to i went to renaissance when she came to atlanta i went to the concert i mean just completely blown away like i just the level of, inc she just inspires me to be the best version of myself, which is why I'm going to go hard with everything that I do. And I, that's just the Beyonce effect. Like her, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Which this video is about me, not Beyonce. But I just have to say that the way that she carries herself and the, her work ethic and her and just the way that she is 
perceived it's truly inspiring and I just like I'm just I stand I stand Beyonce how could you not um but anyways y'all thank you to my new subscribers who are here I look forward to bringing you guys on this journey with me and um I have a lot of things that I want to talk about uh and the video's coming, so I want to talk about me starting a new Instagram page, which I did. I feel like if I had started one once, I can do it again. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to go. It's already at like 600 followers, which I didn't tell anyone about it. Like I didn't even tell my page with 50 over 50k that I started a new page. I'm just starting a new one because I want to just see... When I started Instagram, it was so much different than what it is now. Like Instagram back then was so easy to... It was so easy to blow up and now they put all these like restrictions and algorithm system things in place and so I just want to see what it's like to grow an Instagram page in this day and age rather than in what 2017 when I started. A lot of you are following me from the microlinks videos that I've posted so I did try kinky curly microlinks and I had them in for the past five months and I, I got I took them out now and I still have my twist in from getting my hair done at the hairstylist. Um, but I will be filming a hair update for you guys. I'm going to show you guys when I take out these twists, um, what my twist out looks like. I'm trying to keep these twists in for four weeks because I did pay like $200 to get the microlinks out, get a hair wash, deep condition, style, all of that. So these twists are staying in, baby. All right. We're going to get a good four weeks out of these twists. Um, but yeah, I will come on and do a hair update. I feel like this video is jumping all over the place, which I am so sorry for. But I just have a lot to say because I haven't like sat down and done a video like this in a long time. And so I want to just cover the time period of where I am in life right now versus the last time I did a video like this. I don't know if I've ever done a video like this for my YouTube channel where I just introduced myself. I think I just sort of just started with the hair videos and just went on with it. Um, so this year my sister is getting married, so I'm a first time maid of honor. So I have a lot of duties to do uh, this year on top of just wanting to be as consistent as possible and grow my pages and just be the best creator I can and make the most money I can. Okay, so I'm a first time maid of honor. I, I, I've got some work to do. My sister's uh, marrying a Yoruba man, so... Um, in Nigerian culture, we have to dress up in the traditional wear, and so I have to pick a, a maid of honor gown, uh, and a shobi, I feel like that's how you say it, and a shobi. Um, so I'm excited for that, and you know, baby, we going all out. I gotta be dressed down. When I tell you these pictures of me and my outfit are gonna go down in history, I'm very excited. So I want to vlog more, but I also feel like... When people vlog, like they have, I mean, their their vlogs can be about their life, yes. But they have people in their life who want to be on camera and they have a husband, a boyfriend, friends who want to be on camera. And I feel like I don't have any of that. So I am single. Um, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm not married. I'm a single woman, 26. Ew. And I love it. I love being single. I don't uh, wish to have it any other way as of right now. Like I said, I live in Atlanta. I'm not forcing anything. When my husband comes, he will come. Until then, I am enjoying enjoying the ride and enjoying the journey. And I am at peace. I don't have nobody dusty ride to thinking son messing up my flow. Alright? Um, but back to vlogging. I feel like they have like, you know, other characters. Does that make sense? Other personalities in the vlog? rather than just themselves whereas for me it's just me it's me and my cat like I can put my family on here but I don't know you know I don't know sometimes I put limitations on myself and I'm trying not to do that I'm trying to not assume what I need or assume that I'm in lack when I'm really not in lack at all so it really could be irrelevant but these are just the thoughts that I have like do I I, I mean I'm entertaining enough I'm entertaining enough um so yeah, I am going to be doing more vlogs. I do actually do a lot of fun stuff. So it's just remembering, it's just like bringing a giant camera around with you um, can be like, not embarrassing, but it's like embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
And then with my phone, like the way that AirDrop works on my phone, AirDrop be taking its time to AirDrop photos or videos from my phone to my laptop. Like I know there's a lot of ways to get videos off your phone, but that's the, the easiest way for me. And sometimes AirDrop just literally wastes my time because it takes so long to AirDrop some videos and photos to my laptop so I can edit it and put it out. Yeah, most of the time I'm not vlogging just because I don't want to bring my big um, Canon around. Which I am using the Canon EOS R. Um, yeah, EOS. Yeah, EOS R50. <laughs> so I can also do an equipment video if you guys want that. Just let me know in the comments. I'll definitely do that. And yeah, I have a lot more videos planned. So I look forward to just you guys getting to know me on a more authentic and more daily lifestyle basis. I'll be sharing things that are going on in my life, like being a first time maid of honor. Um, I definitely am always the camera woman in my family because they know what I do for a living. So I'm always there to document. Um, my grandma had her 88th birthday trip that we took a few years ago, or was it 87? I think it was 87. Anyways, I did a vlog of the entire weekend because that's just like my role, you know. And also my family always asks me to do like my nieces and nephews hair as well. You guys know I'm the youngest of seven. So I'm Auntie Ari as well. So I'm managing and juggling that as well. So yeah, guys, I am excited for these long form videos. I'm actually like really, really excited. I'm going to be really consistent, as consistent as I can be. Um, this is just the start of something new. When you want change, you have to do things differently. And so this is the start. And I can't wait to see what's going to come of it. Definitely a thumbs up this video. Run it up, y'all. Run up the comments. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Let me know any questions you have for me. Um, I'm willing to talk about anything. Content creation, if you guys want to know how I got started with that. Like a little bit more in depth and more in detail. If you want any tips on how to start your own channel or your own page. Um, equipment that I use. Um, being a cat mom. Being a first time maid of honor. Being West Indian. Dating. Um, makeup. Hair. I'm going to do it all. So y'all just let me know what you want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Natasha says bye too. Bye guys.